I think your work is amazing and Thank I you. just respect you so much and how you do business. And I would love to talk to you about that because there's so many different avenues you could go down and you could become much more successful in some ways and, you know, but you don't choose to do things that you don't feel are necessarily beneficial to others just for the money. So you're not a person who goes out there and grabs and markets. So how do you stay in business and compete with the guys that do? My marketing is pretty simple. Number one, create a great product. Uh, number two, give great service. If you build things the right way with quality, it's going to compound. When I do book projects, they come as referrals. So if you create something really good that people want and you're fair, over time, you're going to be successful. Yes. And I really agree with that because there's so many people out there for $10,000 or $20,000, I'm going to do this and this and that for you. Then it doesn't happen or the person cannot sustain it because they're not really a marketer or a business person. Then they're stuck with, you know, wait, what did I just spend all that money on? But the word on the street is, wow, Kyle's authentic. Everyone gets tremendous value. You have different speakers from various fields. And you have these books, these amazing books with these juicy stories that really help heal and educate people. You know, so. I'm just doing what I love. And at my core, I'm a promoter. You know, mm -hmm. I used to put on big events. You've hosted a couple at your house. Mm -hmm. So how serendipitous, right? That for whatever reason, I'm like, I'm going to do LA as well. Yes. It's second nature to want to shine the spotlight on talent. If someone was starting out right now and they said, I have like 10 grand and I want to be a you know, speaker or lead workshops, whatever it is, anything in that field or author, coach, what would you say the first thing for them to do would be? I'm a big believer in testing, okay. right? So some people want to go put on a big event. I'm like, well, are you doing small events and are people coming? So I do have a formula for how to do that. Number one is you want to put out a really unbelievable offer to a warm market. Right? Okay. So you go to your warm market yes. and you say, hey, here's this irresistible offer. And, and for people who don't know what a warm market is, it's people you know and people right. who... Right, your inner yes, circle, yes. the, the, mm -hmm. the people you already have. Mm -hmm. And if they jump on it, okay, you're onto something, right? If they don't, you're not going to have success going to cold traffic. And that's, I think, a big mistake people make is they go out to the marketplace with Facebook ads or marketing, Right. And with to cold traffic, and then those people show up, and it's not the avatar of audience you want. You know, Lisa, I think you're the perfect model. Mm. I use your model all the time. Mm. You were helping coach people, mm -hmm. right, and counsel. And you charged, you know, a decent amount of money, mm -hmm. and then your schedule was overpacked, right? Mm -hmm. Then you raised your fees, and then you were full, and then you raised your fees, and finally you're like, okay, I have so much demand so you created a product. Mm -hmm. and so that's what I tell people. If they don't already have a built-in audience, don't go create a product. Find a way to serve people with your value. And as your business starts to expand and grow, then find a way to do it in a group. And then once that expands, then find a way to put on an event yeah, see, or go brilliant. create a product. Yes. No, and it's the natural way of doing things. Yes. And everyone's trying to sell the shortcut. Yeah. And the shortcut implodes because you don't have a built-in body of believers, a built-in tribe of people that just are singing your praises. The other example is someone, they desperately need to make money and they want to be a speaker or they want to create a product because they heard someone else talk about right. it. And I'm like, you know, you can't go create pecans, you know, by planting tomato plants. Yes. So there's, you've got two different equations to solve. Go make money doing something, you know, selling something door to door or take a job Whatever it is, yeah. while you go build the thing that mm -hmm. is going to take time if you want to do it right. I talk about how to find your secret sauce and it's six things. Mm -hmm. you know, what are you good at? What have you had success? What do you love? How do other people see you? And what are you for? Which is powerful. What am I for? Mm -hmm. But what are you against? And sometimes what you're against will get you to come out of retirement. It did for me. That's what I, was I love so, about you. Yes. I was so against the BS out there. Yes. My philosophy is different. My philosophy is if I sow good stuff, I'm going to get a good return, right? The more I sow, the more it's going to come back. And if you truly believe that, you're not avoiding the other just because of ethical reasons. You're avoiding it because it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I see so many people starting over. You know, they're out selling and they're churning yes. through people and they're constantly having to start over. That's not real smart to me. I kind of like to compound things. Of course. You know, yeah. So, <laughs> 
<laughs> get a harvest compound. So yes. to me, it's a philosophical thing. Mm. I see good people hard selling stuff out of desperation because they philosophically think that's what they have to do versus philosophically saying, oh, that doesn't work long term. I'm willing to pay the price because I'm going to get a big return if I do it the right way. Everyone loves you. I don't know if you know that. That's everyone. Kyle, oh, he's such a great guy. Oh, I love Kyle. And you don't hear that so much. Usually you hear mixed news. So you're doing something right. I'm really honored to be here. I'm so honored that you're in this program and that I got to be at your inner circle because I love you. I love your tribe. And it's truly a special place amongst all the craziness and chaos in the world. Thank you. And I'm honored to have you part of my life, part of my tribe. So thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome.